Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. Steve Jackson Games was nice enough to send me a copy of Melee and Wizard to review, so I'm going to do a first look at it in this video, and then I'll do a formal review on my website. So let's take a look at this. I've played this game in the past when it was uh, from, I believe, Metagaming. It's a really good game. Uh, the used prices on it just got way out of hand. Uh, some people were selling it for like $50 to $100 and stuff on eBay. I'm not sure if anyone paid those prices, but you can get this for, I think it's around $15 or so from uh, Steve Jackson. So, save you a lot of money buying it from him. Anyhow, it says, the fantasy trip melee, clean, fast, and deadly. David Ritchie, Airy Magazine's number one. Aries Magazine number one, March 1980. Create characters in just a few minutes and then send them into the arena. Winners become stronger and faster for the next battle. Losers die. Each counter in this fast-moving game is a single warrior. Players choose weapons and tactics for their fighters and send them into combat against men, beasts, or monsters to victory or death. Includes a rule book, a map, 86 counters, and three dice. So, let's take a look inside. I like the artwork on the front cover of the Roman Legionnaire, that's cool. Oh, they got die cut counters in this. Uh, the original version, I believe you had to cut them out, so that's nice having die cut. Let's take a look at the counters first. So you got the various fighters, some weapons. Pretty gladiatorial looking. And here you got the monsters to fight in the arena. Giant snake, bears. I don't know if there's a dragon or what that is. Pretty cool. Got a bow there. Some doggies. And here's a big monster. And you got informational markers such as prone to put on your character. So that's cool. It's nice that you don't have to cut them out anymore. The dice that come with are really nice. These are good looking dice. Uh, three of them. Looks like the booklet's the same size as it was before. Let's see how many pages it is. 24 pages. Believe me, they're uh, simple rules. You won't have any trouble learning it. And it starts with creating a figure. And then it goes for the turn sequence. Uh, you start with rolling for initiative. Then you have movement. And then the second player then chooses options and moves all his figures. And then there's the combat phase and then force retreats. And put counters for thrown or dropped weapons in the appropriate hexes. And so it's going all over movement and phasing. Now it's got some uh, illustrations in here. That's good. And now we're doing attacks. And rolling for damage. And showing here what you get for the different uh, armors as far as modifiers. And here's a weapons table. Missile weapons, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Sheltering directly be behind fallen bodies. Disengaging. Defending and dodging, forcing retreat, reactions to injuries, and now it's going over non-humans. And it's got a combat example at the back, and of course you get experience points and stuff, so that's cool. Let's take a look at the map. Map looks pretty similar to the original one. I think this one's bigger, though. Yeah, it's true to the original. The original had a very simple map, and so does this. This might have, I don't know, I haven't seen the original one in a while. This might have bigger counters, though. But anyhow, I wanted to show you guys this. I'll be reviewing it soon. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please click like on the video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.